Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Seaview Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Hey, uh, you ready now? Girl, you ready now? Warm up, ready? Hey, you ready now? Girl, you ready now? Wah, na, na, na. Hey, break the mickle and wine for me. My girl just wine for me. When the sun come, just shine for me. My girl just shine for me. Give me one more wine, just grind for me. My girl just grind for me. Like a go go, baby, give me some more. I could have fast and slow. Killer with the killer with the killer with the How your body too nice and special? Killer with the killer with the killer with the Girl, your body too bad. So be a day. Killer with the killer with the killer with the How your body too nice and special? Killer with the killer with the killer with the Girl, your body too bad. ANC, very well known as Wall Vibe General, the only general in the Gambia, as he says. Welcome to the playlist for the very first time. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you for having me. I'm not, I'm not the only general. There are so many generals in the army in the Gambia. <laughs> yeah, but in the musical industry, the only general, right? Well, I'm the World Vibe General. The World Vibe? Mm. So that means it's not just a general in the Gambia. But in the entire world. World Vibe is the name of my company. I know, but mm. still, you're a World Vibe General. Mm. I don't like titles, you know. Okay, alright, mm. well, that's fair enough. 
So, how are you and what did you do today for coming here? Um, I'm great. As usual, I was working in the studio doing some graphics. You know, I mean, there are a lot of events coming up. I do graphics for many artists and many promoters out there, and oh, my wow, own events awesome. as well. So yeah. That's great. Yep. So how much do you charge for graphics? Well, good money. Like how much? Mm. If you're talking about good money, how much? Something. For instance, if I want to do the playlist show and want graphics, how much will you charge me? You might you might pay a two five for a design. Really? Mm -hmm. That's expensive. That's quite a lot. Quality. <laughs> well, other people do charge five hundred. <laughs> Quality standards, right? Mm -hmm. I don't okay. publicize my designs that much, though. Okay, yeah, but I have a lot of customers out there. Oh, so you, you work in silence, but yeah, because you, you know, have your logo on your. I don't even put logos there. I put I, I label as wall vibe design some some things. But I have some I have some great customer base that mm -hmm. you know is always there and we always constant. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Um. So you started music in two thousand and five. How right. old were you by then, and what led you into music? Do I know my age then? I know I was very young. I know I was very young. But um, music is something that's been part of my life from young. You know, at some point, music gets to a point whereby you don't even know when it came in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's about when you realize this is in you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I realized music during my early primary school days. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the, my first passion I had was drawing i used to draw in in my classrooms wow. i help our teachers draw on blackboards and they pay me transutala in school days you know and oh, I, that's nice. so i started collecting my money you can see where the design came from i used yeah. to draw on boards i'm an artist from day one oh, so nice. i used to get paid for that i i, I got used to the hustling cash mm -hmm. there so you know what i mean yeah but along the journey mm -hmm. i started writing mm -hmm. writing writing you know listening to music and yeah and I, fell, I, fell, I fell in love with the vibe you know i feel like i can do something like i can I can tell a story, I can tell my story, I can tell stories around other people too, mm -hmm. so music came in. Right, so just a year after you started music, mm -hmm. you released two hit singles, which made you famous. Um, th those were Money and Nyomba Kawas. I can remember <laughs> this, Nyomba Kawas, like literally you can hear it everywhere. Yeah. Radio stations, clubs, yeah. parties, wherever you go, you know. And one thing I loved about it, you gave um, so much business people in the market yeah. business because people were buying the Nyomba yeah. and the covers, you know, especially yeah. during summer, girls and boys would wear it and go to the beach. Yeah. You know, and that's what music is about. You have to, you know, come up with mm -hmm. trends, yeah. something yeah. that will be trending. Yeah. And it was very well played by DJ G file and Fireman. Mm -hmm. When you were writing these songs, uh, did you knew it will earn you the household name you have today, which is EMC? Well, I wouldn't say. Um, then I wouldn't see the the, the 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 real picture. I wouldn't see the whole frame of it, right? Mm -hmm. But I knew it was gonna go far. You know, I mean, I've always been pretty sure of that. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that um, sounds like Nyamba Kawas is relatable to every person mm -hmm. that lives in Senegal, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, both Gambia and Senegal. Mm -hmm. Because Nyamba, man, Nyamba was part of our cultures. We yeah. we embraced that like it was part of our culture. Yeah. And then, you know, Gambia at some point in time, we have different tribes, we have different lifestyles and stuff. Of course. But there's always one or two things that every tribe yeah. shares. Of course. Nyamba, Nyamba bridged the gap between every tribe line. Yeah. Definitely. Between the classes, between races, Nyamba was worn by presidents, messengers, yeah. laborers. Carpenters, yeah. musicians, you know what I'm saying? So it was that one universal thing. So I, I realized that this has to be put in the music, and I did that, and it worked. It, it really worked. did work. And worked. you top it up with adding covers, and it became. You know what I'm saying? Know, you, know, you, you have to add some swap to it, and because <laughs> I've always been a person that likes fashion, and yeah. you know what I mean? That's been part of my life. So I feel like, you know, I have to put some swap to it because the young generation of course. like to see fashion yeah. being put I out remember there. I had Nyamba that time it was the plastic one normally yeah. uh, it was the, the plain white one yeah. the, the kind of see-through yeah. one yeah yeah it, so i was having the, the see-through one yeah with the socks on during the summer that's the one we would wear and go to the it used to be beautiful yeah. especially when they play the nyambakawa song man. we vibe we really vibe man. to it yeah uh, so you once had a dance show on west coast radio called yeah. backstage show mm -hmm. the platform allowed young upcoming artists to get exposure by giving them a huge airplay uh, exclusive interviews why did you come up with such an initiative well media has been a part of my life as well from day one and then um being a dance hall artist mm -hmm. um i got to know a lot of younger artists as well and then people that i think they deserve more yeah people i feel like they need to be heard mm -hmm. 
people are feel like someone need to discover this person either on the stage or on the airwaves. You know what I mean? So I had platforms around me. Mm -hmm. The best thing I could do was to share them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was on the radio as a DJ actually, mm -hmm. because I'm a DJ. Yeah. It was going pretty fine, making nice cash. Nice. You know what I mean? But then I feel like every DJ is playing ENC. I don't need I don't need me to be on the radio to be acknowledged. Yeah. I have that already way before I even go on radio, right? Mm -hmm. But when I'm on radio now, I want dance hall music, the fraternity, to be presented on a platform. Right. So I feel like let me turn some of my shows and play strictly Gambian dance hall music to share my platform. Mm -hmm. That's how backstage came. Okay. You know what I mean? And then shout out to G File, you know, he's been there with me from, from jump. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's my guy from day one. I went to I went to West Coast Radio through G File. Wow. We we had a thing called G Click Entertainment. That's you awesome. know what I mean? So I shared sharing platforms was when I brought a backstage show and I did five years on West Coast and five years on Paradise FM. Mm -hmm. I'm old in this media, man. Wow, I can tell. Yeah. And you, 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 you've been a hustler from day one. Day one, can't <laughs> stop. Did the show added value in so many other upcoming artists mm, like those days? Many. I know there will come a time, probably next generation, you're going to hear a big artist saying, it was ENC that first took me to radio. I'm, I don't want to mention those names, but wow. someday you, they, you'll, they'll come to your show someday and tell you ENC was the one that first played my music. Mm -hmm. A lot of big artists happening right now. Mm -hmm. I was the first to play them on radio, take them on the media, get them interviews, get them some shows. I did that for a lot of artists. I'm yeah. not going to say names here. Right. In 2012, you had a collab with Amidiba on Wanna Love You and Aria, a Jamaican dancehall artist, on a song called Rough Up The Party. These songs put you in the international mainstream in the world. Mm -hmm. How did it make you feel, you know, um, as a Gambian artist living in a country where many people do not know, you know, having a collab with these people yeah. particularly takes you to the international mainstream. How did it yeah. make you feel as an artist? Well, um, from day one, what makes me happy is that mm -hmm. when international DJs play my music, they'll be saying, guy from the Gambia and wow. they never play my song and they don't mention Gambia yeah. the fact that they mentioned in my country was what gave me a lot of you know um, good feelings and I yeah. feel like you know what I mean this is good I know for me as a pros in my career I'm, go I'm doing fine I'm gonna go yeah. fine I'm gonna go a long way I've always known that I know yeah. what I'm doing I know where I'm heading to I know the marketing I know what I'm doing basically yeah. but I don't want to get there alone you know what I mean? And I don't want to get there whilst my country's name don't appear on anything I appear on. So, nice. the, so the fact that they play my music worldwide and they said, Yo, one artist from Gambia, bad artist, arr. you know what I mean? That makes me feel good. Big yeah. up to a person called Rico Vibes. Because you the country. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because Rico Vibes, he started all those things for me, all the way in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he has his own radio station there and he mm -hmm. plays music. So. You know, he got to fall in love with Gambia at, at, at the end of the day. And he didn't stop there. He continued to play music, my music, my music, until he get to play wow. Gambian music. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And this is what, what makes me feel good, that someone has to open the gate for, you know what I'm saying, a lot more people. If ENC gets to open a gate for two or three artists, yeah. another artist open a gate for three or four or five artists, yeah. someday we're all going to have a gate. Right. Where we all gonna so escape opening from. the gate for many artists, do you feel respected for that? Yep, very. I'm I'm one of the most respected artists in the country, and yeah. I I I I don't know, but I think because of my 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 composure, my mm -hmm. way of work, my professionalism, mm -hmm. and how I give respect to, because I respect everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it comes back. So it's reciprocal. Yep. You have to give it to anybody. It comes back. back. Yep. You talk about knowing the business. Um, many people here, especially this generation, all they know how to do is get in the studio, record, yep. you know, the hype here and there. But they find it very difficult when it comes to the business yep. part of music. What yep. advice would you give to emerging young musicians that are coming up, um, following the hype instead yeah. of the business part to, you know, yeah. kind of make a living out of it? Because yeah. if you are not making a living out of what you're doing, it's pointless. Yep. You're yep. just doing it for nothing. Straight what up. do you say to these young people? Good question. Well, I think um, anybody coming in, first and foremost, is options. You have to make a choice, mm -hmm. right? Either you want to be here for a hot, short moment or you yeah. want to have a longevity in the career. Yeah. You have to know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Some people are coming as a visitor. Mm -hmm. Some people are coming to take charge and take responsibility. Stay, build, establish, yeah. get other people coming, bigger and go. Mm -hmm. You get me? But then again, um, music industry is something that you don't have to come in with a haste. Mm -hmm. 
any artist you see enjoying a glory, mm -hmm. the person have had a story, and you have to just really respect that. Definitely. You know, what I mean, it, it takes it takes time sometimes. Mm -hmm. You might come in and your first song might be a hit. Yeah. You might be in the music from your first hit. You might not have a hit again till the next ten years. Music is a very funny thing. Yeah. But you might have good songs that keeps you going. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be hot every year. You have to be. You have to understand mm -hmm. the definition of being a hot artist and a big artist. Yeah, exactly. We, we before we proceed, we need to make that clear because Gambians have that problem. Yeah. For instance, the hot artist, they think he's the best artist at yeah. the moment. You know, yeah. somebody might have a name. Yeah. Everywhere you go, people mention your yeah. name, yeah. and people just conclude that as you are the best artist in the whole Gambia, or mm -hmm. currently, you know, Yamun boy, even stuff right. like that. Right. Can you make it clear the difference between hot? Yeah. and best or good artists. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I label it this way. Big artist and a hot artist. Now, you can be big and hot. Mm -hmm. It happens. You can be hot but not big. Now, a big artist and a hot artist, you might tell the difference by this way. Mm -hmm. A big artist might be hot this year, mm -hmm. not hot next year, mm -hmm. but he's still everywhere. You're going to see him on every booking. Yeah. A hot artist might have a short moment and this not going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Because that hot is gone. Mm -hmm. Probably you have only one or two big songs and everybody knows those songs and after that, nothing else. The track records are not there. Wow. Now, a big artist have a catalog. Mm -hmm. You, Over here, you're talking about Nyambakawas. Those mm -hmm. songs are more than 10 years old now. Yeah. That's what you call catalog. Like you can, those songs are giving me bookings up to date. Wow. You know what I mean? Um, a big artist have a catalog of songs, a catalog of records. I give example of G. Yeah. He's a big artist. He don't need to be hot every year. Yeah. Jalimadi is a big artist. He don't need to be hot every like, year. Let's even take it back. The born African. Exactly. When you hear still hot. Rebellion, the record. They are big yeah, artists. These people are still big. Because of, they have catalog. Yeah. They can, like the fugitives, they yes. have a catalog. Definitely. Like, remember when Baba Mal came to open mic? Mm -hmm. He saw, he saw the forest with the Garambubas and yes. that's a catalog artist. That's a big artist. Mm -hmm. He don't need to be hot for this generation to be out there. Yeah. You soon do not need to have a hit song to be Definitely. to be hot. But why do you need to be hot? He's a hot artist. And he has a catalog. He's gonna be a very big artist in Senegal. He's actually big. But you can always tell a difference. A hot artist, big artist can be hot same time big mm -hmm. based on your, your, your current situation. Like the likes of whiskey, exactly. Whiskey at the same time. Exactly. So when you're coming into the game, don't just come for the hot. Hot will always come. You will always have your moment mm -hmm. when you keep walking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But hot don't last forever. Mm -hmm. So while you are hot is when you build your catalog. When the hot goes, the, the weight stays there. there. Yeah. Even if you leave music, you'll see someone that go, that's just gonna come and say, boy, we're gonna bring you back, come royalty. and perform. Yeah. Exactly, that means yeah. you are a big artist. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Those, right. those are very important. Let's, let's work to be big artists with the catalog, you have your weight. So are you watching out there if you are an aspiring artist and you want to get into the entertainment scene, listen to what ENC is telling you. Hot really matters because mm -hmm. it makes people jump around yeah. your music. But don't just like like hot. attack is super hot. Yeah. Jizul is super hot. ST big and hot same time. Yeah. ST is a big artist and a hot artist. And same he's, time. he's got the catalog. Because he got catalog <laughs> from yeah. ST can stand and play, play Aling Dongo and yeah. songs from way back. Yeah. So you can, you know what I mean? Definitely. Aling Dongo is still my jam. Exactly. Even though it's way back before ST, it's SD, SD is, I mean, the, the songs had way before and still have exactly. way now. Exactly. So I guess that's the difference between hot and big. Yeah. Great. So that same year, you represent the Gambia at the South. America's festival right. held in Venezuela. Right. How did that make you feel? And I think with this, you deserve a diplomatic pass. You know, serve the country as a brand ambassador. I know, right? You know, did you get that at that point? I still don't have a diplomatic pass, in Gambia. <laughs> but those are things that I don't really pay mind to. It, okay. if, if it comes to huge respect and mm -hmm. privilege, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying, but I still love my green passport. Mm -hmm. Um. Going to Venezuela representing my country, mm -hmm. I think that was one of my biggest achievements mm -hmm. because um, going to, I did tours, I went to places, right? Yeah. But when you travel to represent solely your country, yeah. that is a different feeling. Mm -hmm. Like no matter how much you achieve, mm -hmm. like look at every footballer internationally, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't play for your national team, I'm the yeah. Roman Kesti, and you yeah, feel like yeah. I don't still achieve something. Yeah. So um, for me at that time in my career, 2012, Going to perform Gambia on an international festival. That was yes. 
that was a wow like it was it was a great big feeling. feeling man it was a yeah. big feeling you know it was a great feeling I and, can tell. and then and you were young you know, you know what i'm saying you didn't even know much about exactly. the music and still you know leaving gambia leaving your comfort zone yeah. going to a bigger crowd yeah different culture different people all the way south yeah. america far man and but the knowledge knowledge we got it from there was super amazing mm -hmm. you know we got to learn crossover of cultures mm -hmm. we got to learn of how africa and how African history been resonated to other part of the world yeah. and this don't leave music behind. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean so it was a cultural exchange program. We got to learn about, you know, what what of a rich culture we have. Also tolerance. Very exactly. important thing. Because you know, once you're um once you're kept in one place, like you do not travel a lot, yeah. you do not get to appreciate yep. like other things, yep. like tolerate other people, yep. their mindset, their culture, their attitude, yep. their looks. Yep. You know? So yep. I think I mean it was really it was a very point. big accomplishment yeah mm -hmm. so world vibe records was founded in 2015 mm -hmm. to help local musicians produce good and quality music right how will you compare the gambian music yesterday and today well the music is really winning mm -hmm. definitely winning at some point um i'm not for the eager as an artist mm -hmm. especially a person like me mm -hmm. there's a whole lot we've done in this country a whole lot mm -hmm. But um, I'm looking at not how much I have, but I'm looking at how much I'm giving to people as well. Mm -hmm. How much I'm willing to share mm -hmm. the little platform or the little whatever I have mm -hmm. to see someone, someone, someone else will get a share from that. Yeah. That's, that's something I always look at. So in 2014, I ventured into establishing a studio. Mm -hmm. I've always had the plan mm -hmm. from day one. So yeah, through, under my company, I got, my, I got a studio. And I mm -hmm. work with a lot of young artists, man. Even big artists, got, you know, we do things. and. Nice get to record songs write music for so many artists mentor them mentorship so is a very well. yeah mentorship mm -hmm. mentorship in everything is very important yeah there's a lot of people that are passionate about what they're doing but they don't really still get that um enough guidance to go through mm -hmm. you know what i mean so when you are an artist that a whole lot of generation look up to mm -hmm. when you say dancehall music i don't need to be the best dancehall artist so i don't even need those things yeah. right but your stance in that space is what matters yeah. so anybody who does dance will have one or two times look up to me in this generation and when they reach out like come yeah. sometimes i even reach out to people yeah. you're from come come over man yeah. i reach out to producer but i'm gonna come to your studio and they don't even believe like, yes, I'm I'm like yo it's we have to give and take bro you know i mean probably you want to work with a big artist someday and yeah. it might not be easy to have some artists in your studio yeah. when i know you're good i reach out to you i say yo fam, i'm gonna support your thing mm -hmm. you have already my voice for you and sure you know what I mean? And I bring all the artists to my studio to be work and yeah. yeah I'm well what's leaving without supporting people? Yep. It's pointless. I mean yep. we all are here in this life to make yep. sure we, you know, give out, give our very best and yep. you know, leave a legacy here. Spirit like up. when you pass people talk about you, the good things, you know. I think you 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 you're doing a great job um, you helping have to. young people. But talking about production, mm -hmm. I noticed lately Gambians have been going to Senegal to record their songs there, mix it, master it there. Why is that so? Is it because we lack, I mean, proper production people that are in Gambia doing good music? Why? 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 Why well, are you um, in Gambia? I know there are many people that have productions done in Senegal, either video or audio. Mm -hmm. But still, we have a huge number here as well. Sometimes I think it's just a choice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think people have, there are people that have worked with almost everybody in Gambia. So they feel like, let me test hands of all the people from different side of the world mm -hmm. right i know some people have that reason some people might feel they have it better when they go outside it is a it's a different it's a different type of thing mm -hmm. but for an artist like me i think i have everything i need here you know what i mean of course when i go out when i travel outside i want to walk with other people outside and see what they have mm -hmm. like during my tour i work with some italian producers and stuff and then but trust me though but we, video qualities are always different though is it because they are shot by red cam or what well, um, video production, I know mm -hmm. for sure mm -hmm. if anyone invests in people like Alaji Manka, people like STS, yeah. get, get them what they want, mm -hmm. trust me, they give you a mad video, you know. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, the, the creativity mm -hmm. is something that comes naturally. Mm -hmm. Sometimes someone might, you might have an iPhone, I have an iPhone, you should have picture, I should have picture, my pictures look better than yours. Yeah, definitely. Because I know what to do with that particular picture. Yes. That's the creative part of it. And the angles. And the angles. So sometimes it's just about how you can create or recreate something mm -hmm. out of something that's been created already. Mm -hmm. So you might use a red camera, someone uses 5D. Yeah, so you'll have a nice picture out there, but people might enjoy this 5D video more. Yeah. 
you know what I'm saying? So I, it, I think it's about the process creativity. Yeah, and mm -hmm. these red comes to, I mean. Well, I shot a video with with a, with a with a with a black magic in in Kenya in in 20. We went all the way to Nairobi to shoot. Wow. The video super dope, dope, clean. Wow. Mad clean, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, but I'm telling you, yeah. We have producers here, or directors here. If they have those cameras, mm -hmm. the same environment, they shoot, you're gonna see a mad video as well. Wow. Really. You know, because some do say even the red cam, if if like if if a cameraman have a red cam, mm -hmm. it's gonna be expensive for you know, yep. to make a video for yep. them because they say yep. it's not really cheap. You know. Yeah, it is. It is expensive. Yeah. So you have worked on a number of projects mm -hmm. by other artists. You featured on songs such as So Salasu Rhythm, Nice Again Rhythm, One Step Rhythm. Nice of rhythm. The release goes on. <laughs> How's your relationship with uh, Gambian artists? I'm good. Like um, I think I'm one of the most one of the most peaceful artists you'll ever see. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I don't even. I think remember. the only time I heard stuff about you was you and um this guy. What's his name again? Hammer. Yeah. And that was your relationship with him. That wouldn't even gonna be like ENC and someone. Yeah. It would be someone said this about ENC. About ENC. So in that side, it's not yeah, a two-way street. Come back. Uh, yeah, I maybe would, I haven't paid attention, but I, I will never. Been AMC, I will never do. You know, back chatting. You will never see me and any Gambian musician because I think the energy we, that time we would spend mm -hmm. on beefing, we can spend that time to build the music. Mm -hmm. We are still at the building point. So what message will you tell to those artists that focus more on beef songs than commercial songs? Now, just it's it's out there. Mm -hmm. Come, let talk. You see, God don't wait till judgment day to judge people. Yeah. He's judging you alive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So look at things from this perspective, right? Um, come look over here from the beginning. Koneka, I'm a purpose in whatever you're doing. Yeah. I'm not able to achieve. Yeah. Right? I'm not an artist that is here for a short term stay. Yeah. All the artists, 99.9% .9 of the artists, I started music together with. Mm -hmm. I don't see. I don't see more than two of them alive again. Mm -hmm. All the others I started to hear with. Do they want to see anybody? Yeah. My generation is ENC that you still see doing shows, getting yeah. bookings, yeah. doing my stuff. Yeah, maybe um, T Small's mom get tour around. You know? Small's doing good. Yeah. Jibu is doing good. Yeah. Yeah. You don't count more than two. It's yeah. going to be few artists. Yeah. And out of Nihar content, they're not just nobody they're not even doing shows again. Yeah. They just record. Yeah, record because Kuneka, I'm just a business strategist lady. Mm -hmm. These two people I mentioned earlier, they have an understanding of this music. Jibu has been here for a hot minutes. Small has been here for a hot They know. Mm -hmm. You will see them walking differently. Do you really ask? You will see any other yeah. as well. Okay. Our generation is different. But our, aside us, you will see only a few that are still relevant. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard. But EMC is still dropping projects every year, touring this country so every year, why staging. Let's take it there. Why do you think all those people that were that were here? Mm -hmm. I do not want to mention names, but we had them. They were, you know, all over the place. Their music. Um, Tango Umunu, Alien Franco was the place. Yep. Too, you know, and mm -hmm. they always mash it out mm -hmm. when they go there. Mm -hmm. But they're not relevant anymore. What is the problem? I think the walking, the way of walking, music evolves. You have to be, you have to be ready. You have to look at things from multiple angles. Just now, if I've wasted my time into beefing, yeah. trying to prove to the people I am this. Mm -hmm. The world we're living in, you don't need to prove to people who you yeah. are or what you can do. Definitely. You have nothing to prove to people. The younger the people accept your talent. Mm -hmm. That talent, don't use to tell people, don't use to tell people, I'm bad. Yeah. You see, badness don't feed nobody. Mm -hmm. Badness don't pay anybody's bill. It do not. Definitely. Badness don't make anybody look good. Badness don't give you any credibility. Badness wouldn't give you any bank loan. Badness wouldn't give you any. Do them say embassy? Being an agent, your consular, your stamp my visa, man. Yo. Bad man. <laughs> Preach on. When you go to the embassy, you want to suit up and nice. Yes. Mm. Be humble. Or when you come back, you're bad man. Yeah. I, I, this is how I approach life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't waste my time on things that don't feed me or pay my bills or put fuel in the car for me or get me a country fare or get me a taxi fare. AD. I don't waste my time on those. But still, people that would go against ENC, I, I still have love for them and I yeah. pray for them to understand this business. Well, I mean, they're giving you relevance at the of end. Of course! Yeah. One of the reasons why you still see me here. Mm -hmm. 
because I understand this game. Mm -hmm. I started my music career as a battle artist mm -hmm. that many people don't know. In the 2014, 15, yeah. uh, 2004, 5, I was all about the street war yeah, like in Brickham, street like street out street. there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I knew where it had a line of stopping. It's this margin. Yeah. Fourth last stop. So if you label yourself as a bad man artist, a war artist, there's a line a category four belong to. Yeah. But if you label yourself as a commercial talented artist entrepreneur, mm -hmm. that's where I belong. And I have a whole lot of I, I, I work with companies, I sign endorsement deals with big companies and mm -hmm. You think companies would spend money on me seeing me beefing with people yeah. on my life? <laughs> so I, I bank with GT and whenever I go there I see ENC doing his thing. Which yeah. dancehall artist would be signed by a bank? Yeah. So it, it has to do with branding. So you keep being an entrepreneur and you know if they want to beef, let them be. But if you go out there, it do not happen there. Yeah. It's a whole other level. Thing. When you face the real world mm -hmm. where it's just the music that is going to speak. Yeah. Not you, yep. you are. Yep, then you know this is as real as it can get. Wow. So that's the that's the experience you have in the tour. So the mm -hmm. um some moments and I sit and say, I never regret why I've always been grinding in Gambia for all the past years. Mm -hmm. There are certain songs that wouldn't be even big in the Gambia, but you go to Europe, the fans live with these songs. Wow. There are certain songs I would perform in Brickham, I wouldn't perform them in, in Lamen. Yeah. There are certain songs I would perform in Lamen, I wouldn't perform them in Banjul. There so how do you select these songs? Because the Made tour, I, I've been doing tours almost mm -hmm. all these hoods. Mm -hmm. So before I go, I do my researches. Sometimes you go and do the experiment. Mm -hmm. Then you know this song is super hot here. Mm -hmm. This song and this song and this song, right? So over the years, you know this town, they lost this type of music. Yeah. Sometimes you go to introduce new sound to them and see how they want to react to it. Wow. It's about market study. The experience counts a whole lot. Imagine not doing a market research and get to those countries and play a song thinking it's hot uh, out there and everybody fold uh, their hands and look at you like that. Uh, that is awkward, you know. That's I'm what I'm saying. <laughs> And I'm, I'm sure many other artists are going to be able to tell you this. Maybe, I, I don't yeah. know if someone else will tell you, yeah, I did this one and they never even respond. Wow. But trust me, yeah, um, I think I'm blessed or lucky on this side of being a dancehall artist is a very big opportunity. Mm -hmm. Dancehall music is appreciated by a whole lot of different people. Yeah. Plain white people not even mixed with anything. They love dancehall. They love the sound. Yeah. So I, being a dancehall artist and lately having this africanized dancehall music mm -hmm. african music is super huge dancehall mm -hmm. music huge mm -hmm. i am in the middle put them together i have a very big advantage yeah this is what is behind my most recent successes because the sound the yeah. diversity in it yeah the market space you can't limit it to a shot I you can even fuse afrobeat in it but that's what i'm saying yeah. i have a lot of afro songs i did so mm -hmm. my music is Good in any club, yeah. Even Saudi Arabia can perform for them. Nice, Saudi <laughs> you know Arabia, and they'll be like, Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, I got songs coming where you're gonna be hearing some Indian flutes in them, and it's nice. Afro, and yeah, you, you go through different cultures because how we grew up in Gambia. Mm -hmm. My music is not when you listen to my music, you're gonna hear a lot of fun in it and stuff, mm -hmm. but you will understand this guy does a lot of research. Yeah, now you have to put your real life in the music, mm -hmm. if not the words, put the sound into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Because the sound is what can easily reach everybody, yeah. easily. Not Definitely. everyone will speak English or Patwa or Manika or all everybody can But everybody can sound. listen to music. Yes. The sound matters a lot. Of course. That's why Afrobeat is powerful. It is. Because the sound. Definitely. Yeah. So we grew up to listening to reggae, raga, hip-hop, dancehall, mbala, every type of music. It's up to us. What do we take out of everything and yeah. make something? That's what defines an artist, basically. Yep. So um, these are very limited here in Gambia. An artist having the opportunity to leave their country, you know, to yeah. sell their music and connect to the other part of the world. Right. What do you think is stopping Gambian musicians from getting bookings to play international? Um, when I came for my Europe tour, I made a post on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. It was a long post. Mm -hmm. And I was um, actually saying, I'm begging, still on my knees, the counselors, the embassies, please grant the artists visas. Mm -hmm. Now, I know mm -hmm. over the years, there are a lot of artists that went and absconded, mm -hmm. you know, but that not define the entire garment industry. Of course. Because lately, look at how many artists are traveling and coming back. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, during my tour, I was in Gambia. 
last time I was telling my wife, like, there was a time I miss my wife so much. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, I had a multiple entry. Yeah. I wanted to fly here, come back because I had four days off. Wow. I wanted to come, see my wife and, you know, see my people short time and go back on doing wow. my show. Oh. That's how much I wanted to come back to Gambia. Well, it seems like you're a lover boy. Of course, you, yeah, you, you got to love with people around you, especially your woman. Definitely. You get me? And then, but that's how much, why I'm giving this example is that, that's how much we love to come back. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot we established here already. We mm -hmm. can't let that go. Yeah. And I'm telling you this year, either the artists that absconded before or not, they can tell you this. 99.9% .9 regretted why they overstayed. Wow. And I think they deserve a second chance. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Trust me. They Everybody need... deserves a second yeah. chance in life. Probably they were young and you know naive, what I'm saying? And they, they were not thinking right. Yeah, they were not thinking. Europe is not us how many people would think. It's a, it's a system, especially for an artist. Yeah. You cannot go abscond. You have to go to the paperwork. You have to get you have to get you have to get certified. You have to get the production yeah. going. You have to get quality. It takes a whole lot. Definitely. You they are paperless and so you cannot really work. You were a king in your country. And then when you go abscond, nobody cares about you. You, you become you become an next person that you're not even proud of. Yeah. Being an artist, you need to probably turn yourself to another person to start a new way of living. Yeah, like walking in restaurants. Exactly. You know, cleaning you know, here and there. You barely have time to go to, to a studio. So music starts yeah. to go off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But trust me, man. If um, I understand probably most of these artists never expected if they come back, they could be able to fly back again not just artists so many people, people in gambia think in europe when you get there like when you touch down your yeah, life is yeah, automatically it's, changing so you can Probably. make sometimes you can make it way bigger here definitely here yeah here connect us you know it might it might work for many people outside but we see a whole lot of people that regretted certain move but please about your question here yeah? mm -hmm. um because of the paper the system artists get a lot of rejections getting visas yeah but i guess that awareness is coming up now mm -hmm. they're getting to understand this is a job yeah this is a life that we're doing we are responsible people mm -hmm. we have a lot we created already in our country we can leave that for nothing yes we love our country we want to come back so like any embassy any consular watching this please when our grant, artists come yeah g give give them a chance and yeah. see they have there are a lot of people that love them outside there they want to see them give them yes. a chance to travel yes i'm going to give an example you know a couple of years back mm -hmm. many countries and gambia was visa free you could yeah. travel free of course people are not going they were yeah. here they were still here you know i but why I why the rush came in yeah. is when borders were closed with visas yeah now you want to go but then when borders were open you wouldn't even so yeah. when people are caged they want to bust out and move they want yeah. to kick off the door yeah but when they are free they are laid back because they feel they can move anytime they want yeah Definitely. so if if we get to have an or this is beyond just the music yeah there are a lot of students that graduate and they need um university level of education yeah in the they UK need to travel and yeah. they cannot get the visas yeah there are many people that are very instrumental the thing is, in uh, why is it very easy for western people to come to mm -hmm. um africa yeah and very difficult for africans yeah to go to those other countries that's I a think whole that's a whole that's a whole other level question yeah, topic you know <laughs> what i'm saying and uh, those are the things I really love to discuss yeah. about and well, um, that goes to, I'm going to cut it short. Yeah. Let all the African leaders come together yeah. and trust me, rebrand Africa yeah. and let all the people of the world understand who we are. They know, yes. but they want to see us taking You know, we step. need to value ourselves yeah. as Africans. We have everything here, Sally. Everything. Yeah. Every African country it's like, is it's like, with one it, natural it's like when you more. It's like on the movies, yeah? When you see a guy and a lady that they are both single but they are best friends yeah but to them their best friends they will never date right yeah. mm -hmm. so this guy is out there looking for a woman a good woman mm -hmm. this lady is out here looking for a good guy but they never find yeah because to you you all think what you're looking for is outside there knowing not yeah. this is you that you want is here is your best course. friend is your person yes yeah, africans look outside we're looking for yeah why is this here it's us it's very close to your fingertips yeah everything feel Trust me. When all our people get to understand this, and our leaders get us the chance, and our to leaders need to stop this 
begging, yeah. taking loans, credits. Yeah. You know, they tie us down. We have, we have, you know, we have it's enough ripping, sun, enough wind, us off, you know. enough grounds, enough water. To Africa is everything, man. So when you look at it musically at that level, music at some point in time, sometimes we don't even want to leave the country. Like I'm saying, there are artists that will tell you, I have a show in Gambia, I want to do it first before I travel. And you know, the other time when I came to Willis, you were even telling me some Jamaican artists, yeah. would even one Gambian yes. promoters, to, um, to, you know, like book them yep. to travel to other countries. Yep. You know, that shows you the credibility Gambians have. Gambians have. Man, like, Sally, like, um, I'm telling you this. Mm -hmm. 90% of the hot Jamaican artists playing in Europe, 90%, mm -hmm. probably all of them actually even booked by Gambian promoters. Wow. Because the Gambian crowd is the outgoing crowd out there going for these reggae and Afrobeat shows. No other people are booking them. Many promoters are out there, they, they can only book an artist when the artist is available on the ground. That's why my tour was different because Master Lion was present from the first day of the paperwork to the last. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Makes he, it very he, easy. Exactly. Not every promoter or booking agent would book an artist from ground zero, take care of you, fly, and then get other promoters and sell shows. Wow. So many people feel like, then they said, ah, Gamma Music, what would come? You didn't make artists, but mm. then now they're getting to realize. It's they making money. Do money. they do man. they make sales there? Man, man, this actually the them to a level is actually even beyond money. Wow. There's a lot of credibility and respect you get from your home. Wow. When you walk, master and walk with chronics. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody out there, right? Literally. But master will tell you, um, there's a whole different value walking with EMC. Not me, I'm a big artist. Mm. On the, the chronics and the ears, you don't even <laughs> matter. Mm -hmm. You get me, mm -hmm. realistically, right? Mm -hmm. But when you look at what comes along with working with EMC from Gambia, yeah. your own Gambian brother, yeah. and this is your job, and now you guys are walking together, traveling to places. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, I know many people said, no, Tony, I'm going to then you're from the. then you're. Yeah, because, like... because when artists go like that, they get rejected. Mm -hmm. but, we had no Yeah, many other artists went and got rejected. Yeah. Like Big Farded, you know, I know, so many others. I know. They, and they got rejected. But let, so. let, let, let our industry come together and then hide Mr. Big Heads from the presidents to everybody that works with the state. Let's look at um, the creative industry, the models, the musicians, the tailors, the fashion designers. Uh, the presenters, these people, we're here too. These people can change this <laughs> whole country. Man. <laughs> Trust me, yeah. These people are count and beyond can yeah. change this country. Mm -hmm. Vibrant youth with a lot of energy. Yeah. All they need is an opportunity. You know, it's not just sitting in the bank. Yeah. You know, Gambians think if you wear suit and tie and sit in the bank, you're much respected than an artist or somebody who's a DJ or but something. But these studies like have changed because um, the person sitting in the bank will tell you if you work in the bank for seven, five, seven, eight, nine, ten years. Trust me, you want to start doing another job. Yeah, definitely. that's that's human it nature. Boring. Okay, yeah, yeah, you feel like I'm caged fit. How we have a course, money yeah. a boss fee, or my living. Like even as my only. Yeah, this is like, human personally, nature. Personally, that's how I am. Like mm -hmm. I do not like to be caged at a particular place. I like to be free. Great. You know. So how much do you charge for musical tours? Uh, you want to? You want? You want? You want people to start counting my direct money? <laughs> Well, something reasonable. Okay. Yeah, something but reasonable. But you're not going to tell us. No. You don't want reasonable. us to know what's in the Gambians, bed. <laughs> Gambians would, even if I don't say, Gambians have counted my money a long time. How? But we, they went to the bank? Or? Trust me, Gambians, Gambians, <laughs> continent, Halesi, Jizur, continent, Halesi, Est, continent, Halesi, Atta, continent, Halesi, every hour. And what's on Gambia? Very good at exactly. that. Exactly. Ten years, moon <laughs> But we still can count someone's money out wow. there. Like, <laughs> we are very good at that. But look, um, money don't define my music. Yeah. And I want people to understand this. Mm -hmm. What we think or what we tend to um, term as money and riches, I don't want that to define my music. Mm -hmm. Right? I I want my talent to speak. Yeah. And I want any time I perform for people, they feel like this artist really performed for us. I want these things to define my yeah. music. Yeah. Whatever comes with it and if it's worth it, I'm great with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We've played so many free shows in Gambia. People that reach to us and say, Boy, man, I'm a mm -hmm. but I want you to support my show. We've mm -hmm. been doing free platform shows for people here. We mm -hmm. want to see. I've done from 2009 to mm -hmm. to some years back. I've been doing regular shows for football teams to raise yeah. funds for them. Yeah, different places. I've done shows for many people. 
humanity. Yeah, I just want to contribute. Giving out. Yeah. You get me? And then, um, so it's not actually what just comes back to my pocket or my bank account mm -hmm. in cash. But I want my music to be defined by the talent and the energy I put into it and how people receive that good energy as well. Right. Money and stuff comes. I don't do only music. I'm a graphic designer, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah. I'm a DJ. Yeah. You know what I mean? I do business. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, I'm selling cars. You need cars. Link up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, link so, out. So you, know I I mean? you can so, pass through me so I can get coming to <laughs> as well. <laughs> so um, your recent music video, Killer, Killer Killer. Killer Killer is making waves on social yeah. media, but on national televisions, it's not. Why do you think so? Well, I'm going to, you know, somewhat Rahim was like, boy, there's a lot of mm, on your music videos. Like, <laughs> I'm going to say that word. And probably I think um, our national TVs or our, the few TVs we, we have here, I think they mm -hmm. have their criteria mm -hmm. that um, they wouldn't play certain videos mm -hmm. because of certain amount of skin has been showed. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, so I don't, no, nothing against them, but let's just make sure we keep it to standards. But do you think that is sort of hypocritical? Because let me tell you something. Gambians mm -hmm. will talk about how you look, yep. how you act. Yep. Yeah. But they'll be um, watching movies that have mm -hmm. um, other, other stuff, yeah. but deep down they're doing something more, you worse know, than, uh, worse than what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Do you think this hypocritical act is sort of also caging us yep. in so many things? That has caged us in, in look at any um, sector in the Gambia, right? Mm -hmm. There are a um, few things that people need to um, look at or be sensitive about how you play them, right? Mm -hmm. Now, whatever you do in Gambia, the first thing they would want to judge you with is religious sentiments. Yeah. Right? Cultural. Forgetting that it's a secular state mm -hmm. and uh, people have rights to believe in what they believe in. Definitely. Leave them to God. Because if you want to play religious sentiments, it's the same God that told you that it's him alone that can judge. Yes. Right? So let him do the judgment. Mm -hmm. You don't want to watch something, switch off your channel or skip. Definitely. You cannot watch people's shows and tell them, don't dress this way, dress that way. But it's the same you that would go and look at America's Got Talent. You're going to go look at the X Factor. You're going to go look at the Oprah Winfrey show. You're going to look at the Tyra Bank show. You're going to look at every exactly. other show and see a lot of skin. And you love them. And you're watching. But you look at your Gambian sister. Your exactly. But you look at a Gambian sister and tell them, accent so you bonini. Like, we have to look at these things and be realistic about how we treat our people. Exactly. Because trust me, though, we like it or not. You out there that is talking, you're going to have a brother or a sister or a wife or something, and people mm -hmm. are going to have sentiments about them as well. Exactly. And Whatever you maybe do comes around. It does. It's, it's reality. Karma is real. So look at, talk to people as how you would want others to talk about your own people or your own self. Definitely. Now, um, I would understand if I have a TV station, there might be certain music or songs I might not play at a particular time. Mm -hmm. But I might have a segment. Yeah. Where you to play, play uncensored music. I might have a, a, a column called the uncensored. Yes. Every TV station that plays music has something called the lyrics, TV, the lyrics, whatever, mm -hmm. or songs with lyrics. Yeah. You might have, you know, something called the explicit. Yeah. You might, you have, you have segments. You have a particular time where you play Exactly. It. Yeah. So look at, you might say from 1 a.m. we play explicit content. Yeah. You have to, you have to be there for people. Yeah. Look, you know why I don't watch Indian movies? Mm -hmm. Because they cut what I want to see. But Indian movies today, go and watch them. Yeah, because they, this is yeah. the culture they, they broke. They, yeah, they broke the barriers. Yes. They're growing out of that. You want to go on Netflix, yeah. you have to meet the standards. Because the thing is, uh, at the end of the day, we're all we're just human, you know. Tell me one person that is alive on Earth and never, ever, for a minute, yeah. cannot have a scene. Mm -hmm. That makes no. It's yeah. not happening. It's but so then, I, then again, so let the scene be judged by God, Thank not my fellow much. human being. Thank and you. then you, I cannot look at someone and say your scene, your this scene, and you telling me about that scene is a scene. But you know, the, at the end of the day, what what is more important is. Um, you're not listening to negative vibe. Yeah. You know, just be positive with what yeah. you're doing and yeah. keep well, we have keep, keep blowing music. We have give to give them be, videos. There are there are I don't do my videos or my music for only Gambia and I, when our people get to understand this they will they will let yeah. some pages slide. Now um the type of music I do. When I start the music many people said in part one again they like I don't fan. Bro I told people, music takes time. Yeah. It evolves. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get to a page where 
Man, go away in your back of us. Nobody mm -hmm. was doing local music. Yeah. Everyone was slancing in their rap, part yeah. one in yeah, their reggae. Yeah, I definitely. came with your back of us more than 10 years back. I yeah. know what I was doing. Listen, you see, in the dancehall music, they have a, there's a lot of people, the dancehall diaspora. Mm -hmm. Among the Arabs, among the, the Caribbean, the African, the Jamaican, the American, there's mm -hmm. a diaspora that loves dancehall music, the mm -hmm. culture. Yeah. And I want to have a fan base into that. Nice. Within that circle. That's I want to belong there, right? Yeah. There, is a, there is a space, there is a whole people in diaspora that love African music. Mm -hmm. And I want to have a space in that. That's why my music, you listen to my EP, you hear Afro dancehall music. Mm -hmm. You will know this guy is a dancehall artist, mm -hmm. but I represent in different cultures. Nice. Because I grew up with a diverse culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. grew up with the white man, the, Lib the Lebanese, the Arab, the Chinese. Mm -hmm. These are the people you see around in Gambia, yes. bro. Like, you cannot tell me subconsciously these things don't have an effect on you. It of has. Of course, it did. Yeah, yeah. At some point, it's part of us. Even though if you do not have a direct contact with them, but you leave it. Exactly. You see it. So there's a culture yeah. they come with and we yeah. see. You embrace it or not, it's here subconsciously. Yes. So for me as a musician, I want everything of these things to appear in my music, either by sound or image or, or word. My music has a lot of mandinka in it. My music has a lot of all of in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm using dancehall as a platform to tell my story. So this is not going to define my personality. Mm -hmm. It's not going to define you know how i am my personality actually no. why i'm saying this is because i know there's a lot of artists that can't defend themselves when these things come mm -hmm. i'm speaking on behalf of a lot of artists out there that might not know what to say when they are asked such questions mm -hmm. P the society changes a lot of people mm -hmm. you see a lot of artists comes here with a lot of talent but society tells them no we'll definitely no we'll definitely and yeah. you lose your ways you're yeah. dead they're they move yeah. to the next artist of course so you gotta be strong and know what you want before you come into this game. It's a big fish game. Yeah. You have to know what you want. Otherwise, so the me. there are so many hungry sharks. And if you Bro. wanna be a kubo, yeah, yeah, yeah. you just become a bait. Just, you just yeah. follow your mover. You just be in Ebes or Domodas <laughs> or whatnot, and we're gonna eat you up. <laughs> okay. So tell us your playlist before we leave. Give us three Gambian artists mm. that you listen to. I listen to. I listen to. On my Spotify, you will see you will see Nobles, you will see Jizul, you will see ST, you will see G, you will see Limbo. Mm -hmm. you, I listen to almost every artist, okay. especially all the current songs and the old schools. I'm a DJ, remember? Yeah. And then I listen to the Gambian artists have a huge pride. They will don't tell you, my boy, sir. Yeah. Let's change that. Some attitude. of them, bro. You know? How can you tell Gambians? Ah, Gambians don't support. You don't support your even fellow artists. Makes no sense. I listen to. I wish I lost my iPhone. Though. I was going to show you my Spotify. So, okay, list. then give me three mm -hmm. uh, specific names. Right now, I have mm -hmm. right now I have um this song, this you know the limbo songs, the dohi bandi. Yeah. And the kete you denga para jido song Okay. Bad. One more dohi bandi, bandi. One more, one more dohi bandi. One more dohi bandi, yeah. Dohi bandi, bandi. One more, one more dohi bandi. Land moy dohi bandi, bandi. One more, one more dohi bandi. Land moy dohi bandi, bandi. One more, one more dohi bandi. One more dohi bandi. Hey, dohal bulan ne ke daga, daga. So swaga so sharp like daga, daga. Kony bulan ne ngai dama mane, kony bula kony bula ne ngai dama mane bondi. Salam bangi le ri du sonde, poromba kone ka di korne. Dohal te ke na duchiwa, ke na duchiwa. Boy man a bundle, the lamp and the lady do sundel. Or rumba kuneka de corne, dochal le chepe bidiwa, chepe bidiwa. Oh boy, I like the way you work it. No i do gini. Lide neg, lide neg na ma. I like the way you work it. No i do gini. Lide neg, lan ma. One more doki bandi, bandi. One more one more doki bandi. One more doki bandi, yeah. Doki bandi, bandi. One more one more doki bandi. Land moy dohi bandi, bandi. One ma one ma dohi bandi. Land moy dohi bandi, bandi. One ma one ma dohi bandi. Attack chocolate is a big song. Yes. Chaka 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 lady. Chaka chaka mana chaka lady. Chaka 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 lady. Chaka 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 lady. Chaka 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 lady. Chaka chaka mana chaka lady. Ah, 
I love is. Gizul Joanna song. Yeah. Hey, Joanna. Me, I will follow you, follow you like bouncer. Kodobe Kodo song, yeah. what bad? Nala Mokasino Kodobe Kodo Kodobe Kodo Tilibula Kunje Zibo Kodobe Kodo Kodobe Kodo Kanye ni mpanga nivo Kodobe Kodo Kodobe Kodo Alfa Nankaren nivo Kodobe Kodo Kodobe Kodo Kodi Kodo Kodi Kodo Money money is funny. Could do for better. I better ya. A mutala said ya we are. As to walk come from my kodo be kodo. Bin down pay am from my kodo be kodo. Naya jija. Time, so many. Some time. Yeah. I, I listen to I listen to boys a lot. Nice. A lot. Nice. A to my I like artist, that. And, you know what I mean? I like Love that. Me. You know, you got to represent. You yeah. got to represent. Why it not? starts from you. Why not? All right. So what's next on the pipeline? Well, um, I don't, should I announce this? Yeah, you no, should. Yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> on playlist. Come on. Well, a lot of Why shows. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep at this level. A lot of shows. Uh -huh. My new, I just recently launched my EP, right? Yes. Videos are coming for that. Mm -hmm. And my album will soon be done. Mm -hmm. Recording level is soon finished. And we're going to the um, after production level. Mm -hmm. And I got some videos for my upcoming album as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't know exactly. I'm not going to say when I release this album. But I just wanted to come into your faces like that. Mm -hmm. And then tell you what project is going to come. Mm -hmm. We'll look out for more tours coming. There are a lot awesome. of places that we need to reach still. Okay. And then take the music there. So I know mm -hmm. time is not on our side, but one last question mm -hmm. before you say whatever you want to say to mm -hmm. your fans. As an artist, not being nominated or not ever being nominated on the WMA award, how does this make you feel? <laughs> People think that that is enjoyable. Like, yeah. I really want to be nominated. Yeah. I'm an artist. Yeah. I have people Despite out the there. fact that the CEO is your wife, exactly. you're still an artist. I, exactly. I really want to be nominated. They might talk about my sister, so they might fight me. Yeah. I say this, and I mean it. I really want to be nominated. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, though. Why I would understand or why I would agree to mm -hmm. not be nominated. Like, um, the awards needs a lot of input. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's so many things that we could do to make the award go better, bigger. Mm -hmm. So if I have a little role that I can do to make it better, mm -hmm. I think to take that sacrifice and contribute for the award, for yeah. 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 Man can, man can isolate. And, yeah, because you and, do the flyers and Yeah, I do the, the designs graphics, and yeah. a little few things. So yeah. um, for me, more than I'm dull and then I can, I can come in. Yeah. It's better for then me that way than they to will see. nominate you as best graphic designer, uh, best photographer, uh, you know what I'm <laughs> best dancer, artist. Yeah, I, can't, I can't wait <laughs> to be nominated. But um, I think pretty soon they will because guys, um, from 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 the few years back, they started dropping me off 
many responsibilities. Okay. So then as the last year I of my design, see? Nice. They fired me actually. So let's say next year. I'm uh, looking forward. Please nominate please, them. Sally, like, nominate I really want to be nominated. Exactly. I really want to be. You know, like, and honestly. you deserve the win because you've done a lot of work. Man, still Say working. Something to your Can't fans. stop. Well, thanks for loving. Thanks for supporting. We are working all the times. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, check me on Instagram. If you have any personal questions for me, ENC Gambia. Mm -hmm. That's my name on all social media. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, yeah, Twitter, Twitter, everything. Snapchat. Yep. Adios. Everything. Everything. All right. Thank you very much. It's good to have you here. Finally, and I love our conversation. It's so you know. We will have to ha we'll have to have a part two. Uh, yes, to definitely. Youth, you know I mean? This is so educating. Yep. You know, Thank we you. have learned so many things about ENC, and you know, if you are out and you are aspired to become an artist, he has talked about so many things that you can pick from, yep. and you know, rebuild, rebrand. You know, just work on yourself yep. and make sure you're out there not just for music but yep. for music business as well straight up thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this episode with enc world vibe general on the playlist till we come your way bye Yo, not transfer us. Yeah, transfer us. Ha, code ninja. Okay. What's up? You see the ID sort of. Sorry. I got it. Brilliant, bro. Alba. Mbaka. But I'll save you sort of. Ah, no key and no kunu marakaria. Ah, Jano Yona Forest de Biro. Gambia Tonkona Lombaria Biro. Ha, Birim Kwena for Kato. But is it called Okino Kato Nim for Bolong Blabe? 56 branches more of the Gambia. Huh? Ha. Gambia Kono and in Gambia Bantala Bangol. Unka Kono Kia Beret. Kodo Sifa Sifa for Falindiro for Nadi left a member of Kodi Topoton in Kodi Maro. Janum number one in Yonta. And Nun for another another enterprise is Sotali. Wall of Golam Nintuko, Domoral Fanan Kol Fanan Bay Fidali, the Daddy Man in Domoral Fanan Betiat. Gambia Dauda Yalom of Kumfa Kendol Sotali. Ha, one more ha. A parent of my family left a Yale and Kendol every night. Yale Bukani of Kola, Abarka. Yale and Del Chosano. Abarka. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not looking. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Basically, lot of lala me along with school, man, that I can really relax. What the madam? Yeah, what the madam? Yeah. Let me do some balancing. Ah, that's right. Villa, Grand Villa. We love the land, we love the land, we love the land. Yeah, 
Ni la fan ni sewa. Ni dia ni na Grand Villa. It's the best guest house in the Gambia. Beji and the Grand Villa guest house. Na labungul bebe senior ring. Adun na bungul bebe nyarandiri coming ibe la fila ila suwe taranyame. Until Grand Villa na kiliano la lafino wale mukamu tintel kam. Na yeye sabati Grand Villa yele kudo na fa kalamuta. This is like a paradise. I know. I'm all right. I so much love this place. Yes, thank you, thank you. Trust me, I love this place. You can move someone and you're watching one. Yeah. Grand villa. I tell you. I love this place. Okay. Yes, yes. I love this place, man. Oh, yeah. Ni lafta na kuwa keso soto la futama ulijenga mto Paradise Estate ba ya kumanda roke seven five two seven two one eight wale futana website auto www dot grandvillaguesthouse dot com Grand Villa Guesthouse.